Prepare yourself, Jesus here. Prepare yourself for Mega Charizard because that's what we got here. And this thing that you can't see, this is a gorgeous super. So that is that annoying little pumpkin thing or gourd or whatever the hell it is. And apparently it's a wall because that's what its name is. I really don't know. But they say, I, I'm pretty sure it's that thing that gets harvest or something like that. So I'll look at his team. Uh, these things. Akiram's going to be important for that Gliscor. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all I really see. It would be... N really, I mean, I feel like I match up pretty well against everything, just using my walls and stuff, so I'm not really too concerned about this team. And I'm not scared of Clefable or the Gorgeous, because they both kind of just don't work. So, there we go. Exit Drill, come in here. We're gonna see what happens. The Heater bringing in the Heater. He's already bringing in the Heater. What the hell is going on here? I'm like, Charizard, you can take a hit. And he shows me... I was hoping... That he was gonna like earthquake or you know i was hoping he was gonna be mega charizard x but he's mega charizard y oh my god air slash oh my god x control i'm gonna fire you off because i didn't want you sorry x control i just decided x control i can do without you trust me trust me on this one i can do without you togekiss look at this this is in the sun taking 48 percent that is power that is so powerful. This thing has base 159 special attack. And that's in the sun. A flamethrower. Um, I'm kind of feeling the Dragonite. Or not Dragonite. <laughs> what the hell? Where did I get Dragonite from? This big fat Snorlax coming. But this big fat thing dodges my air slash. She just decided to get off quick all of a sudden. What the hell? So, bring in Ferrothorn. Because I'm like, what are you to Ferrothorn? And I'm like, oh, damn. This is trouble. So, I'm going to lead seed him because then he's kind of screwed. He predicts it and goes in his gorgeous. Apparently, he didn't want to set up on me, which he could have done quite well. But, he does willow me. And I'm like, damn it. I went for a para. Not even realizing that this thing is as slow as hell anyways. So, whatever. He's paralyzed. It's gorgeous. That's okay, I suppose. So, Kirim, get out here. What you going to do to Kirim? So, he seed bombs me. I'm like, hey, I'm Kirim. What you going to do to Kirim? <laughs> Taking that easily. So, I double out here in Agent Slash predicting Snorlax here. But, instead of Snorlax, he brings Fear the Whore as a... <laughs> but, he's a, he's a Gigolo, obviously, right? So, he's going to give me plus attack. And now I'm like, uh-oh. So, I'm like, oh, damn. So, here, here is the kicker here. There is a kicker, trust me. So, um, I go for a Shallus and get a crit. And I am, I'm just confused here. I'm so confused. Why did that do nothing? Why did that do nothing? But here's the thing. Clefable gets unaware. And I'm like, what the hell? So he obviously is unaware. So I'm just like, damn, why did I go into Togekiss? I guess I just paralyzed you. And that way you can't really, you know, you can't mess around with me. All you're going to do is swagger me. But now you're paralyzed. So, ha, huh, ha. Huh. I'm like, damn, what am I going to do to this thing? Like, what am I going to do? I just decided to air slash. I'm like, damn, that does nothing either. Do you unaware yourself? I don't think so. I think you only unaware other Pokemon, but you never know. So, damn, this kind of sucks. So I bring Ferrothorn in. I'm thinking, I'm just going to hit him up with the Leech Seed now. Because, yeah, you don't you don't really want to be Leech Seed. I don't really think he has any attacks. So this is just perfect. So it is kind of cool that he can actually swagger us and not have to worry about the attack raise and it's just kind of like a free roll based on us hitting ourselves in confusion so that is actually pretty cool um i'm gonna bring in my charizard here gives my charizard some swagger and here is where it all goes wrong i still haven't figured out at this point what happens i go for the roost here even though i haven't seen it what the hell was i thinking luckily we get the para hack so so yeah i'm just gonna start freaking boosting up here thinking like hey I don't really care. I'm just going to like sweep the rest of your team. I'm going to stay regular Charizard for now. And that does way too much. But the reason I did that is because I wanted... If I went into Mega Charizard, that would have been like super effective or something like that. Or at least neutral. So I go here. Flare Blitz. Destroy his soul. What? What? What happened? But he goes over a Calm Mind here, strangely. And I'm going to sap the rest of his little bit of health. And now I'm a big, powerful, threatening Charizard. Here we go. Now... I, uh, Oko this Gliscor, which is amazing, because this thing is very bulky. And, uh, he brings in Snorlax here, and I'm not sure if he could take an Earthquake. I go for the Roost anyways, and I'm like, damn, that Body Slam does too much. So, I just decide to go for Flare Blitz, and, uh, like, Flare Blitz, it would have done a little bit more than Earthquake. So, obviously, he would have been able, because he does have that Thick Fat, so he technically resists it. Well, actually, no. I think Earthquake would have done more, but... 
I don't know. <laughs> My rambling bad. So, we're going to go switch out here in a Ferrothorn, predicting the water type attack, but he does not bring a water type attack to the table. What's going on here? Come on, man. Ugh. Taking that Dark Pulse and I die, but he's taking more Life Orb damage, which is cool with me. So, he brings in, I bring in Togekiss here. He brings in the wall. I'm like, I'm going to break it down. Goes for Dazzling Gleam, and I'm like, I got an Air Slash for you. I got an Air Slash for you, but wants to take it. So, he decides to take it with his heater, this Mega Charizard. I guess he just wants his Sun back up for some reason. And I'm like, all I need. Well, no, he, he can't even Oko me, so I just Air Slash. There's like a 70-80% chance he's going to get para flinched or whatever. So, here we go. Dazzling Gleam. Finish him off. Just barely. Finish him off. I uh, just wanted to have that ensured accuracy. So many Dazzling Gleam kills just everywhere. So he goes Protein on me, and I'm like, hey, I can take any hit this special elite oriented thing wants to take at me. So I do just that. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Air Slash. Hit him up. But that's, how does that do nothing? Are you serious? How does that do? I thought for sure it would have been a solid Oko from here. But it doesn't do as much as I hope. So Sun's fading away. Kiram's coming in. He can't touch me. And this thing's going down to Nice Beam. So, I just have this battle up here against this gorgeous, I'm full health, gorgeous, super. So this is like Superman, the wall, or something like that. And we just clean take him out with an ice beam, and that's going to be a great battle there, Mr. Neto. Thanks for the battle, hope you guys enjoyed, and remember to turn in next time. We have plenty more X and Y content coming your way, so keep on coming back. Later.